Melbourne is just going to adore this show. So this is Trouble, he's the male and he loves microphones, of course he does because he's a star and so he, he, if, if he could hold a microphone he'd be quite the microphone hog I think. There must be somewhere in all the world is a hopeless jungle and the raindrops tumble all around. Well it's, it's really been such a dream, <laughs> again a pun, <laughs> um, it, it's been wonderful, it, it really, you know, um, I've been working my whole life for a moment like this and it's, uh, I, I take every moment um, like it was my last. thing is wonderful but me and the friends, the Tin Man, the Lion, the Scarecrow um, have such a great time. We're all friends in real life so that's great and also um, I love playing with the two witches. They're, they're really cheeky on stage and they we have a bit of a giggle so um, audiences have probably noticed that, that, <laughs> that we have a little chuckle here and there. I as Lucy just feel so proud of Sam and the beautiful job that she's doing. She's such a wonderful leading lady and this is such a, it's so nice to be there present witnessing her kind of big break and she's just as you can see she's taken to it. Because yeah they've written five new songs for the show. Each witch gets a new song, um, uh, Professor Marvel who is played by Anthony Warlow gets a new song and there's a new song for Dorothy so it's um it's a great addition to what is already such a great classic. This character says some really mean things <laughs> and I know Elfie wouldn't say that. <laughs> so I just kind of actually decided to disconnect the two. Yes, I'm green, uh, but the characters are very, very uh, disconnected. So I basically learnt and discovered a new character, which is rewarding as an actor. Uh, but what got me really excited was that fact that I haven't played such a dramatic, um, dynamic character, so it was a good challenge for me, and, and you know, you want that. The shoes are the key to the making of me, so find her and bring her. I'm singing, but it's also a real character and the cackle and the voodoo doll of Dorothy. Like, it's fun. for little kids but I think if they're forewarned yeah. then they're fine yeah. you know so um, there's enough magic and light happy beautiful bits to kind of offset it. Absolutely and we're all really young the characters are really lovely they're iconic yeah. characters and a lot of kids who come parents are very good these days they'll show them the movie if they haven't seen it so they're across who we are and what we're about and they know we're not really that scary. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Emerald City! I think as well, it's just the staging and the choreography of this particular production has freshened it a little bit. So you're still getting the classic story, but it's brought it into a bit more of a modern era, mm -hmm. um, which I think puts a lot of people at ease. Oh, incredible, <laughs> absolutely incredible. This is my first time working at the region after you know, a number of years, and I'm really excited to be here um, and to work with these guys. We've just had the best 
time on this tour. We do pinch ourselves, you know, they're, 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 some, they're great roles to play, we're very, very lucky. My wife, Esmeralda, runs the spa. We could happily freshen up a little. I could do with oily. I definitely need stuffing. And my man is a mess. In that case, please walk this way. Walk this way. But you know, I will move. If I move like this, it'll it'll take someone out. It's the 29th cast member. <laughs> <laughs>